Hi guys, welcome to Birmingham Boiler Fix. I've been asked to have a look at this Vosta Bosch. They're gonna heating all hot water. Boiler's just overheating and it's giving a H09 code. So we're gonna hopefully diagnose it and repair it in this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Right, let's switch it on and let's see what's happening to it, what's going on. Right, I've got the tap, op tap open, the temperature's going up, the burner's ignited, but the pipe's cold and the tap water's cold as well. Now if you got any suggestions, let me know in the comment box. Right, the temperature has gone up to 72 Celsius and the boiler is displaying H09. Now according to manufacturer's instructions, H09 is communication between the circuit board and the pump and that's all the help we got. Now that's my new contactless tester. I mean, I prefer the old fashioned buzzing one, but I swear this is so annoying, man. Right, anyway, back to my multimeter. I'm just checking the voltage going to the uh, pump. I've got 250 going to the pump, uh, but the pump's not going around and around. So at this moment, I think the pump is faulty. Right guys, I've got a new pump. Uh, before I test the, uh, before I put the new pump in, I'm gonna test those three cables at the back. If I take them out and there's power going to the pump, then the then the pump should work at a high rate, you know, fast speed. But if it doesn't, that means the pump is faulty. But as long as there's 240 going to the pump. Right, at this stage I'm happy that the pump is faulty, I'm going to change the pump on it. So all I'm doing is isolating it, we're going to drain it down. And thankfully I don't have to change the whole pump, I'm just going to change the head on it. And that should hopefully do the job. Guys, if you got a broken down boiler in Birmingham, Solihull or the surrounding area, don't worry, we'll fix it. We repair all your favorite boilers from Baxi, Valent, Worcester Bosch, Biasi and Ideal. Domestic and commercial. Tank systems, Y plan, S plan. We also repair Gladiator boiler mate, storage tanks. We do boiler service and landlord gas safety certificates. So don't suffer in cold, give us a call. Right, I've just changed the pump on it. This is a new pump and just four screws. We had to just Allen key screws. Uh, we're just gonna tighten them up and we're gonna pressurize it and we're gonna test it out then.
Yo, got the hot water back in, it's all right now. So that's sorted. Temperatures are no H09, no pump overheating, and it's all right. Hot water is working fine, and I'm hoping the heating is freaking fine too. So what I'm going to do, right, let's just go to preheat. Well, let's go to max. Can't wait around, so I just want to see if it's working. Chimney sweep, maximum, whatever you want to call it. So I'm running on the maximum for about a minute, and then as long as the flow is, yeah, it's warming up. Look at that, it's warming up. So I'll give about a minute, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out of here. Right, guys, I've changed uh, the boat is working fine now. All I had to do is change the pump on it. The diagnosis on this was tricky. I had to find out the technical. They helped me out. They're really good, amazing. Big thumbs up to Worcester Watch Technical. But anyway, it's all working fine. It's not overheating. The central heating is working fine. The hot water is working fine. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, Birmingham Boiler Fix. So, yeah. Right, guys, that pump just sorted it out. It's all working fine now. When I was when I came down last time done the diagnosis there's a 240 watts going to the pump but the pump wasn't circulating at all. So my gut feeling was saying the pump's gone on it obviously. So anyway mm. I went the, there was quite a few of my colleagues saying that it's not the pump that's gone on it, it's the circuit board. Even if you gain 250, it's still the circuit board that's gone in it. It's a common fault on them. Which I was feeling a bit no, it was a bit dodgy that was. But anyway, uh, when you got 240 going to the pump, but the pump's not circulating at all, right, then uh, you got power going to it. There's three wires at the back, right? Was it black, white, and purple? Oh, yeah. Anyway, three wires at the back. You got to get a flat screwdriver. There's a clip on it. Take, this, take the three wires out, and when there's three, four, 240 voltage going to it, the pump should be circulating uh, or flat out at a fast rate. should be running. And if it's not running, then that means your pump is faulty. But if it is running, that means your circuit board is faulty. It's the pump starts sending in the signal back to the uh, board. You gotta do. A, you can do a continuity test on those three wires. But what are the chances of them being dodgy or broken internally? Because nobody touches them anyway. But you can, you know, it's a good practice to just test that in case they are broken and you get a pump or a circuit board and it's just the wires. But anyway, test it out. The pump wasn't circulating. And um, whatever... So that would just confirm that the pump was faulty on it. I changed the head on it and it started working fine. That was it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.